Hey, welcome to the Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is the MDLX Transformers Megatron figure from 3.0. Um, I've been really looking forward to this figure. One, I think it just looks really cool from everything I have seen. Uh, plus, you know, Mega Megatron's kind of, I've kind of really have grown to appreciate Megatron as a character uh, from the IDW comic series. He's not just the dude with a gun, uh, but the background gets really, really interesting. Um, so let's open them show off. And so the three zero figures, the MDLX, are kind of like a higher end um, version of Hasbro's, or yeah, Hasbro's um, red figures. Uh, a little bit higher quality, a little bit, I think, better opposability, or posability, and a bit better components as well. Uh, so it's been kind of uh, fascinating to see what they've been like. I'll make the first couple like were really good. It didn't necessarily blow me away, but they're kind of growing on me as as to what it's all about. And I, I think I appreciate it a lot more. Like it's it's higher end figures that uh, don't transform, but you know are a bit more than the twenty dollars that you you pay for the the red figures. Um, but still, I think relatively like very reasonably priced. So let's go and look at Megatron. Standings, no problem at all. Let's go with, let's see, movement, foot up and down, toe, it can move up and down. There's some solid movement here and there with the leg. The knee is double jointed. Hip, good movement. The joints are like stiff in a good way. Waist, side to side. At the upper chest is up and down. Arm. Full movements. Let's see how far out we can go. All right, decent, decent length out. Elbow is double jointed. Wrist up and down, side to side, as we saw with the head, all around. All right, let's go with the figure itself. This is the first chance I really get to look at it. Uh, this is more kind of the IDW design, um, not the classic. Megatron we expect from like G1 or anything like that. It's a little bit different. I, I kind of dig it. There's something about it I, I enjoy about this design. It's It feels a little bit more, a little less blocky than uh, previous versions and I, I kind of appreciate it. There's small details on it as well that I think really stand out and stand out um, solidly. Uh, partial, partial, it is, I don't know why the foot does this. It's kind of intriguing. Uh, the eyes uh, have like, look like red plastic so they glow a bit. Uh, and then a lot of um, small coloring uh, that is, looks pretty nice around various parts of him. I think maybe the only thing I would love to see, like a little bit of weathering maybe, I think that could have been awesome. Um, but overall, like it's a nice clean figure and I think that seems to be kind of the theme that we get going with a lot of these. Let's see what our options are. This fusion cannon is here, so chill with that. All right, we got the back cannon. Let's go the back cannon here. First, we'll go off so you can get maybe a bit better of a look at the figure. Detail. All right, so the back cannon. There's only one spot for that. That makes sense. Fusion Cannon comes in, looks like two parts. It's a little intriguing, not sure why it had to be two parts, but it did two parts. Alright, it slides on, looks like there might be only generally one way to slide it on. And then you can only put on his right arm. There's a small little slots that this directly pops into, giving us the full Megatron. Whoops. With with his uh, fusion cannon. Oh, what's that on? Oh, that's just a. That's nothing special. The the waist has been always been interesting for these, and the way they kind of do uh, around it, so you can get some good leg movement and not be totally hindered, but still kind of get the waist uh, that you need with these panels that move. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. We get some extra hands. We got just kind of a gripping one. And I'll 
pointing is pretty awesome. Might have to do a pointing one. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty, pretty simple stuff. Overall, I think I kind of these have grown on me. Like I, I kind of come around on them. Um, I think they're generally pretty solid figures. As I said, it very much reminds me of the uh, red figures from Hasbro, except a little bit more, a little higher quality, a little bit higher quality material, uh, and a lot more detail for uh, usually probably about twice the price. Uh, so yeah, this is out now. You can go get it. A pretty cool addition to Transformers collections. Uh, as I said, uh, out now. Uh, we've got a link beneath our video where you can purchase your own. Uh, there'll be, oh, let's, oh, 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 hold on. Something else to do. This is why we flip things around. Look at all the instructions. Oh, we can need bigger. All right. That's, that seems to be about it. <laughs> uh, you can get, get your own. Uh, oh, oh, it pops out. That's kind of cool. So it pops out of here, and then you can go slide that. That's pretty neat. Uh, you can go get your own. We got links beneath this video. Put in your zip code. or no, sorry. We have links beneath this video. They're affiliate links, so to get a small percentage by doing that, you'll support our site. So thank you. Just watch our video support us, so thanks for that. Uh, if you are into Transformers, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, uh, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, to all our one. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at Graphic Policy. Dot com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.